Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we have some recent and interesting news to talk about. First, back in March, shortly after the Russian invasion of Ukraine had begun, Russia targeted Starlink in an effort to jam the satellite broadband service, which was and still is being used to keep Ukraine connected to the internet. Now the Pentagon seems to be taking notes as it admires the swift response that the SpaceX team had to this attack. Since it literally took them less than a day to disarm it with a simple line of code. That is fantastic and how they did this is eye-watering to me, says Dave Tramper, Director of Electronic Warfare for the Office of the Secretary of Defense. According to him, the government needs to be able to have that agility as well, since the typical timeline to solve such problems is much longer and it involves multiple analysis of what happened, followed by a decision on how to fix it, and then it puts up a contract in place for the fix. Clearly not optimal if your digital infrastructure is currently under attack. Next in the news, SpaceX carried about 116,000 kilograms of mass to orbit in Q1, placing Musk's company at the top of the table at launch service providers for this year so far, thus beating its closest competitor, Russian Roscosmos, by a considerable amount. This comes as no surprise since SpaceX has launched a total of 14 rockets to orbit so far this year. That's almost one launch every seven days. And it seems like the company is well underway to beating its yearly all-time best of 31 launches. Not far from where Falcon 9 usually takes to the skies, the new Starship factory begins to take shape and rise in Florida. The segments of the new launch tower are being assembled at an incredible pace and the groundwork for where the new Starship production plant will be is also progressing quickly. Down at Starbase, Texas, brand new Raptor 2 engines keep arriving some of them clearly funnier than others, whereas Booster 7 is back inside the high bay after undergoing several rounds of testing. And honestly, at this point, I don't even know what booster prototype is gonna end up flying with God knows which Starship prototype. It's, it's kind of mind-blowing how fast these guys are just pumping out Starship pieces and parts and testing out what works, what doesn't, what things can be improved and so on it's really <laughs> and we are just one week away from the faa's announcement regarding the starship slash super heavy launch vehicle program in boca chica hopefully it doesn't get delayed again so that we can see a bit of progress here because otherwise i'm starting to lose hope that we can see a starship launch happening this year that would be very bad. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for being here once again. I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.